hope you're alright. Um, so today I have Ananibals to unbox with you. Um, so this is, to be honest I don't really know much about them, they're pretty new here. Um, and they just look like miniature houses but they come with like weird little style figures. Um, to be honest I'm not a massive fan of the figures, I just think they look kind of simple and strange. And I much prefer obviously like the Shopkins little secrets like tiny figures and obviously Polly Pockets are good. But I thought the houses looked really pretty, really colourful. Um, and you can't really open them like Polly Pockets or anything, but you can apparently peek inside. So, kind of curious as to maybe what's going on in there. So yeah, I just thought we'd unbox this today, see what it's like, and yeah. Um, so, it's not suitable for children under three, obviously, because we are dealing with small parts here. So there's a little bit of tape at the bottom, which I'm just going to take off, and then we'll see what it's like. Yeah, these are quite cheap as well. Um, they're five pound each in the UK. I got this from the Entertainer. Um, they also have them in like Smiths and stuff like that. At least you know in my area they did. Okay, so I really like the way it comes in like this little globe. By the way, I do like that. It's like a little snow globe. Just got a little bit of case in here, so that bit can be recycled, which is good. Um, but yeah, it just seems really cute. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if it comes off the bottom here. Okay, and here's our checklist. So, Nanoballs, your world, your way. Cool, okay, so they're categorised into... Is that word? Categorised? <laughs> into two sections, so Rainbow Way and Sweetness Town. Cool, okay. So let's have a look at these. And then Sweetness Town... There we go. Awesome. Okay, so we have the donut one, so Dusted Donut Diner. Um, oh my god, I love that one. The Gilded Wing. That's pretty. I haven't seen that one before. Um, I've seen, I think, most of these. There's a couple I haven't seen. Um, Cupcake Place. I haven't seen that one as well. That's really pretty. Awesome. Yeah, I've seen a few of them, but there's more than I thought, actually. I thought there was about like, one, two, three, four five, six or seven, like I've seen six or seven of these, um, but there's even more than that, so that's cool, there's 12, so wow. Um, so I'm not planning to like collect them all, um, but I might get one or two more, depending on if I like this one, and uh, just thinking about displaying them, probably with my like little Shopkins and stuff. And then Meet the Nano, so we have all the different characters, and they also have little names. Again, not too fussed about these, they look kind of basic, but they're cute in their own little way, I guess. So the one that came in our packet is just here. So we have one with like sort of gingery, reddish hair, orangey hair, and a little blue top. So that's very small. Kind of weird feeling, it's kind of like very matte. So let's see, does this little guy have a name? So we have a blue and orange gammy glaze, is that one? And then you also get like a little extra one that comes with, sorry, I'm just having that up there which is Coco Ganache. So this one with like purple top, blue face, pink hair. These are just really strange. I don't really get them, but I suppose they're little characters. And then here, obviously it's the main thing. So here's our little house. So this is really cute. I like all the textures. It's really nice. I'm quite weird with texture. I like if stuff feels good, all the different surfaces that's really nice it does look like the little door opens that's so cute so we could put someone in there potentially let's shove that one in there they're not going to stand up very well there you go they're kind of looking away <laughs> um and then it looks like we have like a little swing or something at the back there so we could put our little character in there but yeah this is really cool so i'm probably not going to like display the characters with it these probably are a bit small for like with the Polly Pockets because I think they're like a little bit taller, so taller than the door. But these could just be like little extra like bits of scenery, almost like little houses further away I think would look cute. Um, right, so let's look inside, see what we can see. Oh, okay, yeah, so it does actually look like a bakery. Um, so I can see like a counter, there's a little guy, it looks like he's wearing a crown stood at the counter and then there's like a load of donuts to the side. Kind of blurry image, it's kind of a bit hard to see, but I do like that concept, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's just like a little display collectible, really. There's, you know, not loads going on, but I love the detail, and I think for £5, there is a lot of detail here. The quality looks pretty good. Um, it's not really, like, any paint mistakes or a little bit. Like, a little 
bit up here maybe isn't amazing but to be honest the quality is really good um so yeah i'm really happy with that that's really cute like i said the figures don't really care for them either way which is because they're kind of plain i think um but definitely want to keep the little house and display that i think that's really cute so yeah, that was a short one today but just wanted to unbox that and share that with you guys um have you seen these in stores like i said they are relatively new i just think they're really cute so i'll just give you one more look at each side but yeah please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and please subscribe if you want to see more toys um i'm going to be doing lots of other stuff as well so you know just stay tuned that'd be awesome i'd love to hear from you um but yeah thank you and i'll see you soon bye